what's up beautiful people it's Cinder Roma. welcome to the channel today we have this very interesting video and it's titled work women fail to get comedian matt rife cancelled hmm also i'm excited to check this one out let's check it out the internet is canceling comedian Matt Rife. Matt Rife is being canceled for his Netflix special. Matt Rife is being canceled. People on the internet are trying to cancel Matt Rife. So they're doing their best right now to cancel Matt Rife. For this man right huh. here speed ran getting canceled and losing his entire audience intentionally. So Matt Rife's a comedian that's really blown up this year, mostly due to a lot of his clips going viral on TikTok and because there's a bunch of women that are obsessed with him. Kids? Wait, are you Latina? Good luck. <laughs> oh my god. Can't have any kids dying alone. 100%. Absolutely <laughs> not. Are you kidding me? Uh, what, what is it about kids that you don't like? You're too young for kids. How old are you? 30? <laughs> I don't know how much you remember about health class. Too young for kids well that's our choice <sighs> let's go on i don't know how much you remember about health class but <laughs> you're almost too old for kids i don't know if you know that <laughs> nah this room then you have eggs left i don't know if you know that Sorry, Latino huevos. I don't know how many huevos you have in there. Okay, sorry. Oh my god. Is this something about a fucking Halloween decoration? It sounds like when you walk through Walmart and you pass the Halloween aisle, there's always one skeleton who's like, ah, 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 ah. Just clean Matt living. Rife? Huh? You know Matt Rife? Yeah, I know he Matt. He follows you. That's my buddy. Oh my god, I love him. Tell him I want to get with him too. <laughs> okay. Good lord. So I love Matt Rife. <laughs> wow. That's my daughter. What do I He's a great comedian. Now recently, Matt Rife released a Netflix special called Natural Selection, and a lot of people, mostly his female fans, are pissed off of a joke that he made at the beginning. Yeah, you heard that right. People that went to go and watch a comedy show are pissed off at a joke. This was the joke. The hostess who, like, seats you at the restaurant had a black eye. And my boy who I was with was like, yeah, I feel bad for her, man. I feel like they should put her in the kitchen or something. You know, we have to see her face, you know? And I was like, yeah, but I feel like if she could cook, she wouldn't have that black eye. You don't even have to be a fan of stand-up comedy. You just have to have a sense of humour and a bit of common sense to realise the guy's a comedian and he's making a joke. And comedians love to push the boundaries and... He's making a joke. Yeah, but there are some content that is not joke-worthy. There are some things that is not joke-worthy and should not be joked about. I am not, not one that listens to comedy or say to watch stand-up comedy and say, oh... Um, let me enjoy it because I know there is a limit to which I draw the line and I rather not watch so I don't get offended or so I don't get annoyed because there are some things that people would see as a joke and I wouldn't see in that light so I rather not engage and so far so good the clips that I've watched yes it joked about people and they saw it funny but somebody else would see it and would not find it funny the exact same thing goes with this one that talks about domestic violence and all some people would find it funny some people wouldn't and if you'd ask me i don't find it funny i know it's a joke but it doesn't make it okay to joke about this stuff and that's that's it some people would say oh it's just a common joke it's just a humor yes that is how you see it and that is it because it's a joke i don't think it is okay and i rather stay off it and i rather just not get involved this is where i see or this is my stance but all the same let's go on a joke and comedians love to push the boundaries and say outrageous things go watch comedians in the 80s or 90s go watch frankie boyle or jimmy carr <laughs> 
And obviously, if the guy wasn't a comedian and he wasn't joking, it wouldn't be funny. Any man or woman that abuses someone else is a piece of shit, and I've never encouraged that, and Matt Rife wouldn't either. But it seems a bunch of his donut fans can't separate comedy and real life. Okay, but wait, I'm trying to understand this here. Yeah. So because he's a comedian, do, does that make it okay, or does that mean he's okay to amplify domestic violence or to joke about domestic violence because I'm, I'm honestly asking because for me the fact that he's a comedian does not make it okay or mean that it's okay to joke about domestic violence at all but yeah let's go on F and they're trying to cancel him. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like Matt Reif is about to enter his F around and find out era. I wasn't sure what to watch yesterday and I saw that Matt's special was in the top 10 and I've seen a couple of clips from his social media and he seemed pretty funny. Let me tell you, I didn't last longer than three minutes. If this man thinks this opening joke is funny, I'm sure I'm not the first woman he's disappointed in less than three minutes. Huh. Literally, that would have been funnier than his opening joke. I doubt it. The fact that he justified being hit because you're not a good cook just makes me sick. But I'm surprised that the execs at Netflix even let this through and thought it was funny. I mean, are we surprised? I can kind of tell where a celebrity's career is going to go, what kind of person they actually are, by looking at their fan base. Girls that I knew that were fans of him, they were all assholes. And I'm really not surprised that he's a piece of shit. Like, not only that, like, he looks like a douchebag, you guys. He looks like a piece of shit. When I saw Matt Ryan, so why does insulting somebody make it okay? Okay, why why is it that people feel like insulting somebody makes it okay? But I I don't get it. I don't understand how we are. You move on to criticize somebody for doing something, and then you go about to say or to insult the person and think it is okay. Now there are limits that one can take. I don't find it funny when people make joke or tell a joke or insult somebody regardless of the context for their looks that is where i would not i would not take it and i'm just saying this because we are created differently and the fact that you think you look some type of way doesn't make it okay for you to insult somebody for their looks because they look a certain type of way no we should not have been doing that it looks like a it, no you can you can say something something else but demeaning words regarding somebody's look does not make it okay and people should stop doing that yeah people people can accept that and say oh that is a joke but if we if this is what we're moving at and say oh we should amplify or make it that insulting people for their looks makes it okay because you are angry or you're creating some type of joke doesn't mean make it okay at all no it shouldn't be okay but yeah let's go on when i saw matt rife everybody was like he's so hot dude he's a piece of shit, and you can tell by looking at him <sighs> it's not gonna end well and look he's a misogynist oh oh what a big surprise yeah Seems like Matt Rife is the only one laughing at that joke. One person in a row, y'all are so shocked that Matt Rife is a misogynistic asshole. All I'm saying is he wasn't funny on Wild and Out and he is not funny now. Another person wrote, not Matt Rife building his platform on catering to his female audience and then opening his Netflix special with a DV joke. So I attempted hmm. to watch the Matt Rife special on Netflix. I made it maybe 15 minutes in and just had to call it quits. If you haven't seen it, you've probably heard about it. He opens the show with a joke about DV. And I was like, okay, odd, odd thing to start with. Okay, now I've just got to ask because yes, you don't see it as a joke. You don't think it's funny, but these people that are here talking about it and say, oh, um, you've seen it and they are like, why? Take it to this length or to this stretch. You don't like it, then stay off it, keep it to yourself, and that's it. <sighs> because so many, they've been reading so many meanings. You hear different, this one, this, the different people, all of this, and say this, and say, okay, this is the point it said. I don't like this point or this point. I don't find it funny. But rather than just go and say and paint everything, but come on. 
sometimes some people just um, overstretch some things that doesn't need to go that length don't make sense we understand that yes some people find it don't find it funny but going to some length of to stretch <sighs> let's go on please start with not it just not objectively not funny like it's mm -hmm. one of those things that i'm like i i get dark humor like i like that kind of stuff stop the cap okay i tried to watch the matt rife special and it just felt so hateful of women i couldn't even get past the first opening bit where he makes fun of all these women who he's sleeping with who like astrology <laughs> And I just wanted to say, Matt Rife, before you start punching down, like, for so long on these ladies who you're trying to be intimate with, that when women are talking about astrology, they're not talking about planets in the sky. We don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell <laughs> oh, you, God. you don't Now, after all these fans decided to announce to TikTok that they're going to rip down their Matt Rife posters off their walls, Matt Rife responded. I'm sorry, did you see Matt Rife's Instagram story? I'm never one to like throw my hat in the ring to like talk about celebrities in this way, but oh my God. I know there's a lot of buzz around his Netflix special. I haven't watched it yet, I was going to. But apparently there are a few jokes in there that people are getting offended by or upset about. And in response, he posted this. If you've ever been offended by a joke I've told, here's a link to my official apology. And the link is to special needs helmets. I'm not making this up. This is still on his story. So basically, Matt Rife is standing on business and he's pissed them off even more. If he was upset that people were offended by his jokes, he could have just not said something. I feel like celebrities and comedians always make it worse when they try to double down or make a joke about people's offense. Did you see Matt Rife's response to the criticism oh, he's getting? Oh, God. It's actually insane. Oh my God, it's just a joke. No, 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 no. Jokes are funny. There's no way. There's no way. In 2023? Are you kidding me? No way. And he has been through this before. I made a video about him a few months back. And he stood on business then as well. Flashback. Half right got, got cancelled on your podcast. Well, <laughs> <laughs> he just... I think it was just guys being guys. guys. It was locker room talk. Locker room mm. talk. And for the most part, people only know Matt from like one minute segments on yeah. TikTok. And if three and dudes smoking hot, <laughs> you know what? Good to be upset. I can't feel bad for everybody. Mm. I can't get upset. Yeah. People, because that's what people do online most of the time. Yep. And, and it's like that's their entire personality. Is they go, is let's it? cancel this. This is not okay. This is not okay. This is not okay. Your life yeah. sounds absolutely miserable. You're yeah. so worried about sounds all terrible. the wrong going on in the world. You're not even enjoying yourself. Look, Matt Rife even said himself about this Netflix special. He said, one thing that I wanted to tackle in this special was showing people that despite what you think about me online, I don't pander my career to women. I would argue this special is way more for guys. The women love that statement as well. But to admit that you don't like having female fans is not only misogynistic fucking stupid like you're fucking up your own business bitch now it all makes sense uh i like the rest of the world was so excited to turn this on and then turned it off within five minutes it was so bad and mm. everybody's conclusion has been oh i guess wow. i've only seen his crowd work and i've never seen his jokes but i felt like wow this is a lot but all the same there are there are some content or some things that are not meant to be a joke or they're not meant to be joked upon yes he's making content he's a comedian he's me meant to make this as a joke but the point where it results or he talks about a woman having a black eye and all yeah some people would read off meaning to read i don't find it funny yes some people see it as a joke that's okay it's okay to you and let's just leave it at that because the more people keep talking about this to drag and say oh have you seen this have you seen this he's done this and all of this like what are you getting at but yeah let's go on bad and everybody's conclusion has been oh i guess i've only seen his crowd work and i've never seen his jokes but i felt like something else was going on it very much read like he was trying way too hard mm -hmm. to be funny to men in girls right <laughs> and they're crystals it's, just, it's stupid right okay he has a predominantly female audience he's saying this special is for the guys then why is he talking about women like if this special was really for the guys why are you opening by by you know being derogatory to women is that the only way that you can bond with the guys 
So Matt Reif is proof that men care way more about male approval than actual success. So he had plastic surgery, he got his teeth done, he had this glow up, and after a couple of decades of trying, he was finally successful as a comic. He literally got millions for his Netflix special, but his core audience has always been women. And he's like, ick, girls aren't funny. So even though he had the money and the success because it was coming from women, he would much rather tank it in hopes of getting male approval than to actually enjoy it. When I was reading the statement about him saying it's more for the guys, it reminded me of the actors that don't want to be typecast anymore. I don't think he wants people to think that he's just a comedian for women. He wants to appeal to guys as much as he does to women, but the thing is a lot of his fans are women. So him saying those types of jokes were always going to spark a reaction. Now once again, I obviously don't find actual domestic abuse funny and I'm sure Matt Rife doesn't either. I also I don't find it funny if someone's actually got special needs but if you can't separate jokes from a comedian in real life then you're a donor and you need Michael. Get some help. Well like I said before and like I always say because I don't find some jokes funny I rather not engage in those jokes or engage in some stand-up comedies or engage in stand-up comedies at all. It's best that way to stay off it and not get engaged or not involved in it rather than watch a clip or watch something and get all offended by it and all that makes it okay i am not gonna be supporting a content that talks about or that is feeding off or making domestic violence look good or look okay i won't be doing that i know the joke he told here especially regarding that part wasn't funny to me Others might find it funny. They say, yes, you have a good sense of humor. That is okay. It's your stance. It's my stance. Would I go about and say, oh, because he said this, then therefore we should cancel him? No. No. We'll move on fine. And the world exists without me going out to say, oh, he said, because he said this, then therefore let us cancel him. Let us... <sighs> Why not too much? But yeah, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment down below. What are your thoughts about this so far? I really love your honest contribution to this. You can share all the useful information you think might be really helpful. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and all of that stuff. And until next time, see you in the next video.